Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog! This is Mimi Guapa, your professional teacher next door and a very proud mother. This morning, we shall have another reading of our daily devotional reading series. And today, we will be reading for June 13. We are reading from the book, Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are doing this series to help one another and to do our mission to share the word to the whole world. May you will be blessed from today's reading. So let's get on to it. But before we do so, may I invite you to please bow your heads and close your eyes as we seek the Lord in prayer. Our powerful and magnanimous Father in heaven, we thank you for the wondrous things that you have done in our lives. We thank you that even though you are situated in the heavenly kingdom, you are also felt within us. You are also felt around us. You know all our needs. You know all our plans. You are eternal and you are very powerful. This morning, O Lord, as we have this devotional, may you guide us. May you transform us. May you help us in our travail in this sin-stricken world. We know, Father, that we are powerless without you. So we entrust you our everything. Change us, O Lord. Transform us to be better people of your kingdom. Help us to help other people, to minister to their needs, and to share your word to the world. We ask all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our High Calling, June 13, United in Christ. That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. John chapter 17 verse 21 The solemn earnest prayer of Christ reaches down along the line to our time. What a position is this for the fallen man to attain through obedience, oneness with God through Jesus Christ. To what heights we are permitted to rise if we will all have respect unto the recompense of the reward. We are to receive power from God that human nature under the divine working may not always be perverted and not always be under the depraving, corrupting influence of sin. Human nature through Jesus Christ becomes allied to angels, yes, even to the great God. Those who are truly connected with God will not be at variance with one another. His Spirit, ruling in their hearts, will create harmony, love, and unity. The opposite of this works in the children of Satan. There is with them a continual contradiction. Strife and envy and jealousy are the ruling elements. The characteristic of the Christian is the meekness of Christ, benevolence, kindness, mercy, and love originate from infinite wisdom, while the opposite is the unholy fruit of a heart that is not in harmony with Jesus Christ. In union, there is strength. In division, there is weakness and defeat. The most convicting argument we can give to the world of Christian's mission is to be found in perfect unity. In proportion to our unity with Christ will be our power to save souls. If we reach the standard of perfection, our peculiar traits of disposition must be molded in harmony with Christ's will. Then we shall sit together in heavenly places in Christ. Brethren will work together without a thought of collision. Little differences dwelt upon lead to actions that destroy Christian fellowship. Let us keep drawing near to God 
and he will draw near to us. Then, as one, we shall reach to upward to him. The churches will be as gardens of the Lord under his cultivation. God's people will be trees of righteousness planted by the Lord and watered with the river of life. The end for today's reading. Thank you everyone for listening. May this reading for today will be uploaded in your playlist as you get devotional videos from the internet, from YouTube, as you up download uh, motivational videos. May this also be included in that playlist. And may through this reading, you will be more inspired and you will be more enamored to serve the Lord in whatever ability that you are given to. And that we will always be reminded that we shall be united, that we shall be one. We may not be the same because we are created diverse but and each has unique qualities. But in our diversity, we will still be united in Christ. In our differences, we will be one. As what Mrs. White wrote and what we had just read, I really like this statement. In union, there is strength. In division, there is weakness and defeat. May we remember today that we will be united so we can stand. We will be united so we can band. We will be united so we can reach our upward home above. Thank you for listening. May God be always in your favor. Till the next day, adieu.